This is the Quechua 2 seconds fresh and black pop-up tent. This is the two person version and in this video we'll be testing its ease of setup, ease of takedown, spaciousness, comfort, ventilation and more. I bought this 2 seconds tent from Decathlon and got the tent inside the carry bag plus 9 stakes and 5 guidelines. I'll put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. To set up this 2 seconds fresh and black tent, first take the tent out of the carry bag and remove the yellow strap. The tent will pop open to form a bigger circle. Then undo the red buckles followed by the yellow buckles and unfold the tent. This takes just 30 seconds. If you want to, you can stake down the tent body using 4 of these loops and also guide it out using the 5 provided guidelines. If you have extra guidelines, you can attach up to 7 guidelines on this 2 seconds tent, 4 at the front and 3 at the back. Also, I highly recommend staking out the two vents, one at each length of the tent, for more ventilation. Staking and guying out the entire tent, including the vents, will take about two and a half minutes. Altogether, the entire process, if you leave the guy lines attached, should take at most three minutes once you're used to it. To take down and pack up this two seconds fresh and black tent, first remove all the states, including the vents, hook the two S hooks of each vent to the fiberglass poles of the tent body, and tie up the vent guidelines as well at this black latch here. Then reach for this red buckle at the back of the tent and pull it out. Fasten the red buckles together, followed by the yellow buckles. Then grab the red strap near the yellow buckles and push the tent body down to the ground. It'll form a figure eight shape which you need to fold in half to get back into this smaller circle. Secure the yellow strap across the tent and place it back into the carry bag. It takes just one minute to remove all the stakes and fasten the S hooks of each vent. After that, it takes another two minutes to fold and pack up the tent. Altogether, it'll take about three minutes if you leave the guidelines attached like I do. For more detailed instructions and tips on how to set up and take down this two seconds fresh and black tent, you can check out this video on my channel. The peak height of the two seconds fresh and black tent is around the front of the tent and the lowest height is at the back. The peak height at the front is about 38 inches. Without a mattress inside the tent, I can sit upright without my head touching the top of the tent. The lowest height at the back of the tent is about 29 inches. Even without a mattress, when I sit upright, my head touches the top of the Quechua tent. This is why Decathlon recommends using a sleeping pad with a maximum thickness of 2.4 inches. Here's what the 2 seconds fresh and black tent looks like with a climate double V pad with 2.5 inches of loft. It did not reduce too much livable space so I was able to sit up everywhere inside the 2 seconds tent. The length of this 2 seconds fresh and black tent measures about 81 inches while the width measures about 51 inches. This climate double V is just slightly bigger than two regular pads put together so it fit perfectly inside the tent. When I tried to inflate a full-sized Coleman mattress in my other Quechua tent, it was actually bulging out the side of the tent because the width is too narrow, so full and queen-sized mattresses won't be able to fit inside here. Also, there's no vestibule, so if you leave your shoes out, it will get wet if it rains. This 2 seconds fresh and black tent has a single door at the front of the tent, measuring about 38 inches in length and 39 inches in width. If you find it a bit stuffy inside the tent and you don't want to use the door, you can just zip up the inner white fabric instead and this will give you a small window for more ventilation. This window measures about 33 inches in length and about 11 inches in width. If you're inside the tent and you want to zip the door up though, you first have to unzip the window. Both the outer white door and the inner black window have two zips each and both can be zipped open and closed from both the outside and the inside. There are two pockets in the entire tent, each measuring about 21 inches in length and 8 inches in width. Each pocket is actually split into two for more organization. There is also one lantern loop at the back of the tent where you can hang a small lantern like a black diamond emoji. This 2 seconds tent also comes with patented fresh and black fabric which blocks out a significant amount of sunlight during the day. Here's what it looks like from the inside when the door and vents are closed. The fabric also has UV protection of SPF 50 and keeps you cooler in the tent during the day than regular tents without this blackout feature. For ventilation, the smallest vent in this fresh and black tent is this rear vent which is really quite tiny. There's also one small zip at the bottom of the back of the tent that can give you a little bit of fresh air from the outside. You can also unbuckle this and then pull on the blue string here to get the rain fly lifted off the ground for some ventilation at the back. 
there are two pretty large vents at the sides of the tent, one at each length. You can have these vents completely open like this for maximum ventilation. You can also close these vents completely by hooking the two S hooks of each vent to the fiberglass poles here. Or you can have these vents partially open by hooking the two S hooks of each vent to the two guidelines here. This is how I usually leave my two vents so that I can get some ventilation. At the same time, I found that no water leaks into the vents if it does rain. The portion of mesh on the other side of these vents, which is inside the tent, can also be opened and closed as well. To open the mesh here, just unzip it and tie the fabric up with this fastener here. I really like the design of these guidelines because they've already tied this loop for you here to stake it down. The two attaching guidelines also come with these adjusters that can be adjusted to make the vent as taut as possible. What I like even more is that I can unhook the S hooks of the vents from the inside if I need to. I can also hook the S hooks of the vent back on the guidelines from the inside of the tent as well. The design is phenomenal and very user friendly. For more ventilation, you can unzip the white outer door for some ventilation ventilation through the mesh of the window. On rainy days though, you do have to close the outer white door completely or water will get into your tent for sure. You also do have to make sure that the rain flag is fully protecting the inner tent body. Thankfully though, I was able to leave these two large vents partially open and no water will leak in. I found that no water would leak in through the small rear vent as well. To test for condensation, I slept in this two seconds fresh and black tent on my own overnight. I closed the white outer door and black inner window but left the two ground vents completely open. I found it was quite cool during the night and I did not notice any condensation when I woke up the next morning. I put this two seconds fresh and black tent through an hour of light rain and there was no leaking at all. When I put it through an hour of moderate rain though, I found some leaking through the floor seam here. It came factory taped and worked perfectly when it was new but I've had this tent for many years now and noticed more and more water leaking into the tent over time. The two seconds fresh and black tent comes with bathtub flooring of about 5 inches high which kept the tent dry even through light flooding although there was a bit of leaking through the floor seam which I should have resealed. The rest of the tent body was always dry though because of the full coverage rain fly which protected my tent through light, moderate and even heavy rain. This 2 seconds fresh and black tent has enough loops for 7 guy lines. When I guide out the entire tent, it was super stable even when I tried to shake it quite vigorously. I didn't actually test for wind protection, but I'm pretty sure this tent can take quite a beating. For quality, I found a 2 seconds fresh and black tent to be pretty high quality. The polyethylene bathtub flooring feels quite thick and rugged, and so does the rainfly which is made of polyester. All the seams on the rainfly have been taped and so have the seams on the bathtub flooring, but this is an old tent though so I should have resealed them. The inner tent body is also made of polyester and is quite a bit thinner but I had no issues with it. The stitching all throughout the tent is double stitched and consistent. The zippers don't feel super smooth but they are quite catch free so unzipping the outer door and inner window is pretty much a breeze. The poles are made of fiberglass and over the past few years of light usage, they're still going strong. None of them have broken on me so far. The carry bag is made of polyester and comes with pockets for your stakes and guy lines. It's the perfect size for the packed up 2 seconds tent and I never had any issues trying to fit the tent back in. But here are two things that I wasn't quite a big fan of. First, this is what the blackout fabric looks like when you first buy the tent. It's really great and actually blocks out quite a bit of light during the day. However, after some time of usage, the blackout fabric will start fading and showing a few tiny holes. After a few years, I noticed that the fabric started flaking like this. It's gotten to a point where every time I touch the fabric, it'll flake off on my hands. Also, entire strips of fabric have started to come loose, especially near the front of the tent at the door area. The entire tent is still functional, of course, but the flaking kind of gets gross after a while. I live in a very humid climate, so I suspect the tent wore out because of that. Second, the zippers of the carry bag finally gave way after a few years of usage. Now it can't close and I do have to be careful not to let the tent fall out. For portability, this 2 seconds fresh and black tent has a packed size of 27 by 27 by 6 inches. For a size comparison, here's what it looks like beside a common 2 person sundome tent as well as a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle and it weighs about 7.2 pounds for just the tent and carry bag alone without stakes. It comes with both a handle at the top of the carry bag as well as a shoulder strap for easy carry. For pros, I found this fresh and black 2 seconds tent great against rain. The rain fly is full coverage and no water leaked 
through the rain fly into the tent body. My tent is quite a few years old, so the seam tape on the flooring had degraded a little and let water in, but it was perfectly fine when I first got it. Another huge benefit of this Fresh and Black 2 Seconds tent is that there's plenty of ventilation even on rainy days. These two vents are huge, can be left open like this in the rain, and no water ever leaked into my tent. There's also this great blackout feature, which doesn't exactly block out 99% of sunlight like it's advertised, but it's still definitely a lot darker and cooler in this tent than my other pop-up tents. I also found the materials high quality, and it's pretty inexpensive for a good quality two-person pop-up of tent. Please help me hit that like button if this video has been helpful so far. Thank you and I really appreciate it. As for cons, because you do have to stake out the two vents for ventilation, it takes a little longer to set up and pack up than my regular two seconds tent. The full setup takes three minutes and the full pack up takes another three minutes. Also, the base area isn't very big, you can fit only two pads with a little leftover space. To be able to fit a full or queen mattress, you do have to get the three-person version instead. Overall, I found this fresh and black 2 seconds tent super feature rich and high quality for a very inexpensive price. If you need a pop-up tent to take you through lots of storms, this is one of the best pop-up tents for that job. How does this Fresh and Black 2 Seconds tent compare to other pop tents? Well, don't worry because I've already done the comparison for you in these videos. I'll put them up when you're ready, so do check those out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.